Hi Floss2, my name's Dana and my channel name is Gemstone Stitches. I'm here to do a real quick update. I only have two whips that I've worked on since my last video. The exciting thing is, first of all, I am going to uh, announce who won the giveaway. I spoke about a giveaway for reaching um, 500 subscribers in my last video. So today is the day that I said I would get back on and uh, pick a winner. And then also, I got the mail on the way home from work and I received a package that I, I had been waiting on. I wanted to talk about it in my last video, but I hadn't gotten the package yet. And it actually came in the mail just today, which is perfect timing. So let's get into it because it's a busy Monday night for me and I'm, I've got things I gotta get to after this. First of all, um, I worked on my uh, Sweet Dreams stocking by Dimensions Gold. Looks like this when it's finished. And here's what it looks like now. Um, last time I was on here, I had this curtain done and I think a lot of the paneling or the lines uh, between the panels on the window done. So since then I filled in all the window with that dark blue and then I decided to skip the next curtain because I was a little bit tired of that and move on to the Christmas tree. So I did this cream color and then I picked uh, one of the greens in the tree and just started my started working my way down. This is super, uh, it's harder to do because it's so speckled. It will be easier as I bring more colors in, but right now I really have to make sure I'm counting correctly and putting that color in the correct spot. These little blank circle areas are gonna be ornaments. So I'm still, anytime I'm cross-stitching, I am working on this. I haven't been cross-stitching much at all this past week. I've just gotten really busy with Christmas coming and not having a lot of time or energy to devote to stitching, which is, which bums me out, but uh, it's an exciting time of year, so we're doing fun things, and uh, I'll get back into it when the new year comes, and I'll try to stitch whenever I can. The next thing, one thing I worked on too was um, my Year of Flowers by the Drawn Thread. I finished the November, uh, November block just before, or just after Thanksgiving, I finished the November block. So I just have one more to go, which is December, of course. And this is what the whole thing looks like right now. So by the end of the year, I'll have this done. And that might be only my second whip that I have completed or finished for the year of 2018. Okay. So those were my two whips, that's it, two whips. I feel like my eyes are looking over here tonight and I should be looking up here. So the exciting thing that I did around my birthday, which is in, was in October, is I bought myself a Chatelaine kit from European Cross Stitch. I bought the whole shebang kit. I didn't get the fabric yet, but I got the thread, the specialty threads and the beads in the pattern, which was quite the expense. But I don't plan to do a lot of these, so I thought it was worth it. The one that I chose was um, Medieval Cloister Herbularius. There's different medieval ones out there. Um, I think there's like Poison Garden and um, maybe like a fruit or vegetable one. I, do, I like all of the medieval ones. They, I, my eye 
goes towards them a lot. Um, but I went ahead and got the medieval uh, cloister or wheel area. And that's what it's going to look like. I really like the center. I think that's pretty. And um, just the different um, mandalas, the four squares around. And I like the plants. I always like flowers and plants and things like that. And so this definitely spoke to me. So here is, it came in a USPS package like this. And this is what it looks like, the pack. So let's just look real quick. So these are um, needlepoint silks. Look at those bright blues. Um, it looks like, wow, those two packs of bright blues. And then, um, man, I don't even know what this is. Floramel by Gloriana. I guess these are Glorianas. Some very vibrant colors in here. Um, sorry, the packaging has it to where you can't tell what these are. Yeah, these are all these twisted around ones are Glorianas, so. Some darker green color, a very bright green color, um, middle of the road greens. This is like this has got like a green purple mix to it. Pink. Lots more Glorianas. I won't go through them all. This one is. Um, gentle art. I'm just kind of showing you all the different kinds of flosses that come in a pack, I guess. That thread looks kind of different. Um, then we have some treasure braid. This is like a burnt orange color and some golds, lots of golds. Um, what else? And then we have the beads. So there's these reds and blues there, and then a lot of um, Delica beads here, little tiny ones. There's That one's kind of a bigger one. Yeah, very exciting. Lots of stuff in there. All right. I have to pick, not before I say this, I do have to pick a fabric for this. And um, this is the fabric that, well, it's not really a fabric, but it's a light color. And I'm not sure I want to do that light of a color. I might want to bring in a little bit more of a tan color, but I'm afraid it might wash out other things that are in the picture. So anyway, I haven't been able to commit to a fabric yet. Uh, I could have bought one with the kit, but I decided to just pick one on my own, which maybe I should have gone with the kit because it might be hard to find one that um, that I like because I'm not going to really see it in person until it comes in the mail. So we'll see. If you have any suggestions for me, I'd love to hear them. Any companies to look 
look for online and any color suggestions would be really helpful. All right, so let's get to the giveaway. Thank you guys so much for um, your interest in what I have to give away. I'm real excited to share this with the lucky winner. And I'm just so happy that I have subscribers and people who want to watch my videos and share, share this craft with me. Again, um, this is, this is the, what's in the giveaway, at least what I showed in the last video. There might be some other things um, with the package that I end up sending. This one is uh, Ornamental Joy by Country Cottage Needleworks. And then the other pattern is Little House Needleworks. Um, Home of a Home of a Needle Worker 2. I have stitched both of these up. The story is I accidentally bought two of each pattern and I was saving them to give saving the extras to give away once I hit uh, 500 subscribers and I was I hit that number recently. So, yay. I had um, 23 people say that they're interested so I went ahead and did it old school I cut out little pieces of paper with numbers on them and I wrote all the names of the people interested so I'm just going to randomly pick a number out of the bowl and that's gonna be the winner so here we go I am stirring it around not looking and we are number 13. Number 13 is Karen Jorgen Jensen. 13, Karen Jorgen Jensen. So Karen, congratulations. If you are watching, please comment below uh, with maybe your email address and uh, we can get in touch and I can send this package on to you that will possibly arrive before Christmas time, depending on where you're from. If by chance, Karen, you are uh, not 18 yet, please get permission from your parents so that I can send this to you. But I'm guessing Jorgen Jensen is, you know, two last names. You're probably, probably not under 18 years old. That's my guess. Anyway, yay, very exciting. So I will be sending that along to you. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, I hope you're enjoying this really busy holiday season if you do celebrate Christmas and uh, enjoying all the Christmas lights and the music and trying to get through all the crazy hustle and bustle that comes with preparing for the holidays. Uh, we've been listening to Christmas music nonstop in our house. It's been really nice and it's funny because my husband's been the one who's turned it on constantly, which usually it's always me putting on the Christmas music. So I'm excited to see him really getting into the spirit and enjoying that. And I am just going to keep working on this stocking. So hopefully by next Christmas, I am able to hang it up along with the others. I have two fully finished stockings hanging up. And then my stocking is a store-bought one. And so is my daughter's right now is a store-bought one. So hopefully my daughter Tinsley will get to enjoy her handmade stocking next year. And then... We'll see if I get on to working on a stocking for myself from there. I plan to, but man, these do take a long time, so we'll see. Well, thank you guys so much for watching, and happy stitching. Bye.